to respond to some of the issues. Uh, Dr. Opoku Wari Ampoma is the CEO of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Doc, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Um, thank you. Explain to us, because we've seen a statement you issued subsequently. Are you saying that this amount that was posted at the renal unit of your hospital was a figure under consideration because the instruction was clear that it is an increase. You're saying that it was not approved before it was posted for the public to consume? Yes, unfortunately, that is, that is correct. How do your departments work under you? Uh, do they to take decisions on their own, sometimes without recourse to management? And a decision like this, typically what should have happened? Yes, okay. So um, the, this was a proposal that emanated from the renal dialysis unit. Because uh, when we are about to send proposals to Parliament for review, each unit would come out with its input costs. And then this, are, this is what is factored into the uh, proposal that is then forwarded to the head of department, then to the director of medical affairs, and then on to the chief executive, who then sits to the central management team to discuss it, review it, and then make sure that there is a, a reasonable justification for the prices. Then this is then forwarded to parliament through the Ministry of Health for uh, approval. And um, in this instance, what happened was that um, it had reached the head of department level, but somebody from the gas put up uh, this uh, notice. But internally, as you said, when this was noticed, a memo was sent from the director of medical affairs instructing them to take it down and to uh, you know wait until approval has been granted before instituting these new charges. But unfortunately, because um, somebody had gone there and taken a photo of it, which then went viral. So it appears as if, you know, uh, we, 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 you know we are a part of it, but it had never been approved in the first place. And so uh, that is uh, 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 you know, uh, the fact. So whoever is the head of that unit would have been charging these illegal fees from your patients until the time that they were told not to? So, so fortunately, this was noticed very quickly. And so, uh, as, 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 as with, you know, when we checked, only about six people had, uh, you know, paid this amount. And they are, it's going to be offset because these are uh, patients who are, um, I mean, chronic dialysis. So, it's going to be offset. So, uh, so it was picked up very early before it had, uh, you know, many people had, uh, you know, paid this amount. So, offset. Uh, it has already been internally remedied. And, um, uh, you know, we also look at, I mean, internally we are uh, looking at uh, what went wrong and how to, uh, to avoid it next time. So when you say offset, you mean they will be refunded indirectly? Exactly, because there they are people who are coming for regular sessions. So it's offset against their, their, their next session. I see. But this official who did uh, this unlawful thing, uh, has he been found out or has she been found out? Yeah, so uh, that said that we are doing the internal uh, investigation and uh, we would uh, find out what, what exactly happened. When should we know the conclusion of your investigation? Are, this is internal investigation. So but it has gone uh, external uh, now and it's an, in your public hospital. Yeah, yeah, so yes, yes, if someone engaged in an unlawful act in a public of hospital like yours, the public ought to know, especially if it affects us. And if is an unlawful yes, act yes, that Parliament has intervened in, we ought to know. We need to ascertain the facts first. And, uh, I mean, even in your institution, every institution has got its internal process, which must be exhausted before we, we, we put out uh, whatever it is. So that to allow us to do that. I see. Very well. So I just wanted to know what timelines you are working with so that we will get to know what you have done in, in, in regards to that particular issue. Yeah, but, but I think let's focus on the issue uh, 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 because that is, is, you know, is going to now become a distraction. The main issue is that... No, it's not It's not a distraction, dog. It's, it's not a distraction. The, the distraction is that an officer engages in an act yes, in your... Yes, but that officer will be dealt with... Good. So that, that's the assurance I wanted to know that, okay, you yes, have set yes, up a committee... Yes, administratively, we are going to go into it, but you won't be to be a specific day and time, and I'm saying that administratively, we are not going to close by. We are going to look into it, and whatever administrative this has to be done will be undertaken. 
I can okay. give you that, Sharon. All right. But if you want to go to a specific date, unfortunately, I cannot give you that. Uh, you know, no, no, friend, the assurance, is, the, the assurance suffices. Now, talking about the reason they were forced to do what they did, how bad is the situation for departments like that one and perhaps other departments in your hospital uh, for well, which reason they are making these demands? I think, I think, I think, um, uh, no, I don't think anybody has been forced to do anything. It, it, somebody, somebody jumped the gun. That is what it is. Because not everybody is aware, maybe fully aware of the uh, uh, entire chain of processes that have to happen before a new uh, price is, uh, you know, advertised. So um, that's what I'm saying. That somebody definitely jumped the gun, and that's why we are looking for that. But. It's not that anybody was forced to do anything. I don't think that because the proposal comes from you. And this is something that we do regularly, you know, routinely. Uh, you know, when uh, we are invited to come to Parliament with our vice president charges, that is how the process works. So each department will generate its input costs, and then the cost goes up, and then it is reviewed to make sure that, uh, you know, uh, it is uh, reasonable, and then we forward it. But then in the case of uh, dialysis patients, there's a very peculiar challenge because uh, this is something that the life for people who are most of people who are chronic dialysis are on it for the rest of their life. So it is quite a challenge and they need it to survive. So for the dialysis unit, the main ethos with, with, with which we will pick is that we just want to be able to break even and recover a reasonable cost so that the services can be sustained. And the, the previous charges were set several years ago. And if you recall, uh, in, now, in about 10, 15 years ago, mm-hmm. when uh, the services were equivalent of about $100 per session, you know, and of course, over the years, we've managed to be able to, you know, progressively uh, bring the price down. So if you take $100 uh, at the moment, you can see what the equivalent in cities is like. But now, uh, the fee that they are paying now is uh, 380 cities, which... Um, uh, yeah, I'm sure you can work them out, them out, them out. But then um, we know that this just was set a few couple of years ago. And with what has happened with the next thing, we, we know, and since all the inputs are important, we know that definitely there has to be an adjustment in the price or on the, on the fees. But then the, as to the specific number that we are looking at, that is why we have to put the process. Because at this stage, there's scrutiny, there's justification and all that. And look at it. In fact, you may send your figure to Parliament. Parliament may also decide, to, in this wisdom, to adjust the figures, you know. And so, it is only when the process has been terminated that we can come out with the particular figure. But definitely, there has to be uh, an adjustment in the price for us to be able to break even and to be able mm. to provide the service. But of course, we also have to always be sensitive to the challenges that uh, dialysis patients face. Very well. Uh, b- before you go, someone has just sent a message uh, saying that a similar thing is happening with your MRI and that the MRI price has been increased significantly without parliamentary approval. What can you say to that? The, the people who use MRI are sending messages to us. Well, if they are not giving me uh, specific numbers, but I can look into it and, and find out. Please do. Please do. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Yes, thank you. That's Dr. Opoku Ariampuma. He's the CEO of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital.